Olga. Yeah. One with some relative. Town of Olga. Yep. Spelled like O L G A. Yep. <laughs> That's a very Norwegian, Scandinavian name. Yep. Not Olga, not Norwegian. That'd be more like a German or Russian. I mean. Russian Russia. or uh, um, Sweden. It could be too. <laughs> Olga. But uh, Inga. The only thing there isn't Olga anymore is. Uh, I was going to say a Catholic church, but I think they closed it and made it into a museum, so. Uh, might be two or three residents there. You know, when you, um, when you think of Olga, you think of like this really, really big woman with red hair. Yeah, you hook her onto a plow. Cheaper to feed than the horse. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, because Olga would eat anything. A yeah. horse wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, you don't give Olga any slipper, she'll break you in half. <laughs> Have you ever seen them? Um, um, the movie Little Big Man? Nope. Well, there's part of it where um, he marries this woman right off the train, you know, like Olga or Inga or something. And she was that. She was this big, red-headed woman from Sweden. And, uh, and then, of course, she they get out, they don't get not too far away, and she gets carried off by the Indians. Okay. And, uh, and then, uh, years later, he meets up with this guy, this Indian brother of his, from the same tribe that he was kidnapped into. And, uh, he was always besting this guy. And the guy just couldn't stand him because everything he did, you know, little big man had done better or something. And so he meets up with him, and he's like, uh, he's talking about his wife, and then all of a sudden you hear this this woman screaming <laughs> from the TV comes out. You clean up this blah 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 blah, you know, and, and he was just so head packed, and he was like looking at uh, little big man, like you know, really ashamed and everything. And little big man's like, I didn't, didn't want to tell him that she was my wife. Man, she never picked up the English, but she sure picked up the Sioux really well. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a really funny scene. But my grandfather had some cousins or something that come over, and not even, I'm not even sure they're first cousins of his, and they're still down around that area. So, and I figure that's who this is. He's found. Good job, and there's still the driver, I guess. Oops. Need a few more lessons to keep him off the edge of that highway. Huh? Needs a few more lessons to keep him off the edge of that highway. Yeah. Found that a couple of times myself today. Well, I knew an Inga in um, Champaign, Illinois, the coffee house I like to go to. And, and I always choose from Chicago, and I always thought that was an interesting name. It's not too many girls named Inga who aren't from Scandinavia. What nationality did it go with? I think it could be Norwegian, it could be uh, Finnish, it could be, it could even be Russian. I'm thinking it could be uh, Sweden. Probably in my country it would be Norwegian, but I'm not sure. If you 
look in the back, you can see the, the bed liner. It's like, it's very questionable. some kind to hold it down. You know, they make those uh, things that fit down in the holes and you cut a hole out, put the thing in, put a bolt in and it won't, uh, won't come out. But it is quite, uh, that's why we've never ridden with the, the gate down, but somebody was telling me, oh yeah, you should ride with that gate down because you get a little better mileage. Or you know you can put something in there, something heavy. Like a truck box. You put or something. you can just wait till it blows out and leave it behind. You put something heavy back there, then you're losing your mileage. You better know. put a tailgate up. Then somebody else told me that these diesel trucks are so powerful that you can even put a trailer on them notice a big drop in mileage or power. No. They say actually it rides better towing a load. Yeah, that's the way the big trucks are, you know, 18 wheelers. Hold yeah. it, they ride a lot better than they do empty. Oh yeah, that's pretty bouncy. Huh. Pretty what? much engineered for the additional weight. Yeah, full load. And I, you know, I can sort of see the mileage not being, is there, you know, if, if you make a, a, something that's too powerful for its weight, it's, it's kind of inefficient. Yeah. If you put the, the weight that it was designed for on it, then it will, uh, it will actually run more efficiently. out to Jeff City in Columbia one day looking for jobs. That's where you learn though that um, especially in the TV business they don't have a job advertised. You come in with a uh, resume and stuff won't make a bit of difference. And the thing is they want they say oh we'll I'll keep this on file. Yeah the round one don't keep it on file. They open up a position for a job, you better go in there with a resume. And as long as we got lots of unemployment, that's the way they're going to keep it. There's lots of unemployment. I heard somebody say this morning, you know, we have no working class anymore. We have the rich and the servants. They've gotten rid of all the middle or all the uh, factory jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Those factory jobs are never coming back. You know. Well, you know, there's a, a class of wealthy you know, it's really bothersome, interesting trail. But they are, they say the top 400 richest Americans make more money than the rest of us combined. And, you know, what is that, 155 million Americans? And then there's 400 individuals at the top. Those 400 individuals buying their income is still more than the money that 155 million is made. Yep. And they're, and they're working very hard to not to only keep it, it, yeah, but to take more. Yeah. Sign 
been back there since cigarettes, 1999. That must be good cigarettes. I remember when, you know, growing up, you know, you could buy a cigarette from one of your buddies for a penny apiece. piece. They were bought 25 cents a pack, and you could use a talk and give you one for a penny. Now they're up to a quarter a piece or something. So there's a a note that was put out that um, that. Mr. Bob Asher is collecting all the pictures and videos of Mardi Gras. He's going to keep it in an archive. And I'm like, well, no, I, I suspect he's not even doing that. He's just wanting to uh, take it all and put it on his website. He's not even actually collecting physical copies of the stuff. And I'm like thinking about it and going, well, you know. It's, that's kind of an olive branch out to those of us who don't necessarily feel welcome in that circle of people. But then I thought, well, oh, you know, maybe I'm going to start sounding like a TV station that doesn't like to have their footage given out to everybody. But I'm like, you know, people want to see this stuff, just give them a link to my website. Because I need the traffic and I don't want... I've already seen people uh, put my stuff on their sites and not attributing it. And that's not a great, good thing to do. You know, it's kind of like, almost like plagiarism, really. I. Doing a, I was doing a, um, a Google search and looking for my videos, and I found a bunch of them on Mr. Bob Asher's site. He made a site. Look here, there's all these videos of, of uh, Mardi Gras throughout the years. We did this and that. And I'm looking at through my videos. He doesn't even mention my name. He doesn't mention Swoboda. He doesn't mention who shot him. It's just, you know. size mode. It's hauling a couple of walls or slab structures. But that would be pre-stressed concrete. Yeah. Amazing how they do that now. In the old days, you know, you built it on site. Now it's all just come rolling in and you yeah, hang they, it up. They make the pre-stressed concrete beams and stuff. I don't know if those facing walls are actually have a need to be pre-stressed, but I know uh, I was up taking pictures of our temple the other day, and it's all kind of a white, uh, almost looks like marble, but not white, and uh, it all come rolling in. They just hang it up, yeah, it's steel frame hanging on the side. You don't get that color of rock around here, so I don't know where it's coming from. 